Thousands of CMS students headed back to the classroom today, and the biggest concern is how the district plans to keep kids safe. WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes joins us live from Southwest Middle School. Tanya, what happens if a kid gets sick at school? Yeah, so that's really the issue, isn't it, Fred? Because you would hope that if your kid got sick, they went to the nurse and they'd be able to get a test right away. But right now, CMS does not have that in place. So if your child gets sick at school, the child gets isolated and then gets home, gets sent home to try to find a test. CMS, though, is working to do everything they can to ramp up the efforts that are taking place at school. At Paw Creek Elementary, you can see the excitement even through a mask. I feel nervous but happy. Hear the gratitude from the school principal at Mint Hill Middle. But it just means everything to be able to see kids, you know, talk to them, tease with them about their shoes or their t-shirts or whatever they have, and, uh, you know, just to see kids back in the building. And the hope from the superintendent of CMS. And there's an energy level that I, quite frankly, have not seen in a long time. As CMS gets back to the business of educating 140,000 students in person, the goal is to keep them there and keep them healthy. The signs of mitigation written all over the walls, mandatory masks, and a push for vaccines now. But CMS finalizing a plan for later that they think will give them a proactive way to stop COVID clusters before they start. It'll be pool testing. Students uh, will have to opt in. CMS has been talking to a vendor to randomly test students and staff. Samples will go into one big pool. A lab will turn it around within the day. And CMS will quickly zero in on where COVID may be lurking. We're working uh, feverishly to implement that as quickly as possible because it is a mitigation effort for us, uh, an opportunity to be proactive. CMS also looking into mandatory weekly testing of non-vaccinated staff. StarMed stands ready to scale up if called upon. Our laboratory has capacity to run way more samples than we're, we're running right now, so yes, we, we could handle that. With COVID in the community, it's a matter of time before it's in the classroom, but for now, kids will celebrate the milestone that COVID stole last year with a good perspective to start the new year. I got to do my best today. You have to do your best today, and everybody in the school has to do, the, do their best. So any minute now, CMS is going to be holding a briefing that's going to kind of give us a breakdown of what went right, what went wrong today. My colleague Hunter Sines is going to be monitoring that briefing, and we will bring it to you as soon as it begins. Reporting at Southwest Middle, I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte.